Welcome back everyone. Moving on to another rate of change question. So we have to determine m. So the average rate of change of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 on the interval where x is between m and 5. So notice that's where the unknown is, is 7. The average rate of change over this interval is going to be 7 for that function. Now, average rate of change between two values is always what? Between these two values in particular, the average rate of change is going to be f of 5 minus f of m all over 5 minus m. Right? That's how you set up the average rate of change. This is the slope of the secant between these two points. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be in this order. Another way you could do it, you could do f of m minus f of 5 all over m minus 5. Right? This and this are the exact same thing. As long as these two are lined up, then you can do it in whichever order you want. And I'm actually probably going to work with this order because notice if on the side, Notice how we have f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. So if we get an expression for f of m, which we're going to have to plug in here, we would have 2m squared minus 6m plus 1. And then also notice we're going to have to plug in f of 5. So f of 5 would be what? Uh, 5 to the power 2, which is 25 times 2 is 50, minus 6 times 5, which is 30 plus 1, which gives us 21. That's what f of 5 is. So we have f of 5 equals 21, and f of m is 2m squared minus 6m plus 1. So the reason I prefer to use this one over here is because when we set it up, that whole expression for f of m, we don't have to worry about distributing a negative. And then this is going to be all over m minus 5. Because if we switch these up, which you can do, by the way, you should get the same answer. We could put the 21 minus this expression here, but then we have to distribute the negative inside the bracket. So there's a little bit more to take into account. So if, with a question like this, I'd recommend getting these expressions first on the side. So then you can see which order you prefer to put in those expressions so you don't have to do as much algebra. But again, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, you should get the same answer. But personally, that's what I do. So this here is the expression for the average rate of change. And we know the average rate of change is equal to 7 in this case. And so now notice we have an equation with one variable to solve, the m value, which is what we're looking for. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 7 over 1. Now also, notice how we can uh, simplify the numerator here. So we'll have, continuing this here, 7 over 1 equals 2m squared minus 6m. 1 minus 21 gives us minus 20 all over m minus 5, like that. The reason why I put the 7 over 1, because now we could cross multiply. So 1 times this would just give us that. And then we'll have 7 times m minus 5, like that. And then we'll have 2m squared minus 6m minus 20 equals 7m minus 35. So when we bring everything over, we'll have 2m squared Bring the 7m over minus 6m minus 7m gives us minus 13m and then negative 35 becomes positive 35. Negative 20 plus 35 gives us 15. So now we just have a quadratic equation to solve. And this actually factors smoothly because notice 2 times 15 gives us 30 and then the b value is negative 13. So what two values multiply to 30? and add up to negative 13, well, it would be negative, um, it'd be negative 10 and negative 3. 
right? Be careful here because I almost just made this mistake because 15 and 2, 15 times 2 gives us 30, but 15 plus 2 would give us 17. Or if we did negative 15 times negative 2, that would give us 30, but then negative 15 plus negative 2 would give us negative 17. So the two values are negative 10 and negative 3. So what we can do, decompose this to those two numbers. Like that, notice we could take out a 2m, m minus 5, minus 3, m minus 5. And then we could factor out the m minus 5, and we're left with 2m minus 3, like that. So ultimately, we end up having m minus 5 is e uh, times 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. And so from here, m minus 5 is equal to 0, or 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. Notice here m would be 5. Then notice here m would be 3 over 2. Now, notice that in this particular question, this is not going to work. Why? Because you can't have a zero in a denominator. It would make it undefined, right? So over here, m um, equaling 5, that's actually a restriction. m can't be 5. So we would actually just ignore this solution. It also wouldn't make sense taking the average rate of change from 5 to 5. Right, so this here ends up being the solution, three over two, right? So M is equal to three over two. And then if you want, if you have the time, you could check it. So you could pretend like you just got a regular average rate of change question for this function where X is between three over two and five. And then you can do this whole process with F of five, F of three over two, and then your final answer should be seven.